okay sorry i'm squinting because once again we're looking into the sun so you guys at home get a better view but uh anyway what we're doing here is we're laying down the beehive stand kind of like an outer layer we're gonna put some shingles in the bottom and then layer rocks over top of that just to keep the little parole mice from dropping down and then reproducing so that's what we're putting down we bought this stuff or got this stuff from home depot uh just some kind of composite material to make the little border we're going to put the like i said the rocks and the shingles in there uh, anyway we're trying to lay it down pretty quick yeah i did level the stand up but i'm not worrying too much about leveling this stuff up i'm just going to throw some shingles down in there we're going to fill it full of rocks and see what it looks like and hope for the best so we'll let you guys look at it and y'all can tell us how horrible or how good it looks in the comments i guess but anyway that's what we're doing so stay uh i don't know what to say you have to cut that out <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay, stay tuned stay tuned and uh, we'll show you at the end what it looks like you're leaving it aren't you All right, as you guys can see, we just put the shingles down in the bottom. And now I paid for money for rocks, which is odd, but I'm gonna put them in here over top. And I'm pretty sure you can put just any type of thick barrier down, whatever you have. We just happen to have shingles, so that's what we're using. It's also what our uh, mentor used. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's right. Don't act like you're not first. We'll cover the brick. Yeah. Hey guys. So Alyssa and I have been working on staining the beehive stand. Hopefully you can hear because it's been super windy. So I'm going to try to talk fast. Um, we got some bare deck plus is what it's called in slate color. We're also going to use this same stain to stain the chicken coop. Um, I think it will complement it very well, especially with those uh, lights that we have to go on it. Uh -huh. um, but anyways, we're finishing this up and the next step is... Uh, to paint the beehives and I have some really pretty colors that I'm going to do those in as well and uh, then we'll just be waiting on our bees and our chickens and our chickens our chickens are supposed to come in this week they're no. supposed to ship the 14th and then they'll be here one in three business days at the post office so yeah so we're super excited about that for sure yes these chickens are probably going to be spoiled. Oh, yeah. Um, They're going to be our besties. We're going to start out with them in the house. And, because uh, obviously they're baby chicks and not old enough to be in the coop yet. Plus, it's still in the progress of being built. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> like spaced out pointing down towards the ground anyways um so we'll keep them inside until they're ready to move to the transition to the coop part of it yeah and i'll show you the um progress on the coop i don't really know much about chicken coops but um dad has built some trusses i think up there and um he did take down the roof panels because 
he could not access it from the bottom but we have the roof panels just sitting down out here and then kind of i guess what this is held up on <laughs> very sketchy and then back here we have this additional and i'm sure it's going to be for the coop part or their laying box so yeah we'll update you next